Hey everyone, what's going on? So this is a uh, UFC 197 predictions video. Um, I've wanted to do predictions videos for uh, the UFC for quite a while now, and um, I just haven't gotten around to, you know, doing it. Um, but, however, uh, this is a huge, 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 beyond all of us, huge pay-per-view. Um, the, the numbers are going to be crazy. They're gonna be ridiculous. I, I can't even imagine uh, the actual gate. Uh, the, the gate will at least be, oh God, maybe 10. Maybe 10 million. Maybe 10 million fucking viewers. It, I, I highly think, I really do think that it will get about 10 million. Um, but, uh, so obviously we'll start with the uh, co-main event. Um, which is Holly Holm and Misha Tate. Uh, Holly Holm beat, uh, in case you didn't know, Holly Holm beat Rond uh, Ronda Rousey at 193. Um, and, um, I'm, I, I, nah. If you watch the 197 uh, pay-per-view press conference, it's on UFC's channel right now, um, you would have seen, you know, the uh, the interview between Misha Tate and Holly Holm. Uh, they're going back and forth from uh, the press's questions. Um, they seem to both be in a really good place right now. Holly Holm, obviously, you know, uh, beating Ronda Rousey in epic proportion and fashion um, to, you know, get the belt. Uh, crazy. <laughs> Just baited her around the ring the whole time. She ate some pretty big shots and baited Ronda into a situation where she could hit her, run away, take a shot maybe, hit her, run away, take a shot, and then get her in the corner, give her one good right hand right to the jaw, get her in a clinch, push her away, and kick her in the head. It was awesome. But uh, Misha Tate has been beaten by Ronda Rousey. Um... Now, uh, whether or not uh, Holly Holm will beat Misha Tate, um, I don't really think that's a question, to be honest with you. I, I do think that Holly Holm will retain her title, um, but I don't think it's going to be easy. Um, I don't think she'll go in with the same game plan as she did with Ronda because she knew, uh, you know, not to run in... Uh, you know, full force into Ronda, uh, at the beginning of the fight, because that's what every chick did, and they got royally fucked, um, finally one chick, uh, didn't do that, and beat her for the title, um, so, uh, Misha Tate, uh, really isn't a run-in and fuck somebody up type of person, uh, but, uh, if I had to suggest who hits harder in, that division right now, um, I don't think it's Holly Holm. I think Holly Holm is a lot smarter. She's got a way better camp than Ronda Rousey did, and I think she has a better camp than Misha Tate does. But, uh, you know, uh, Holly doesn't have the power in this match. Uh, she didn't, in Ronda's match, I really don't think either. Um, if anything, they might have been equal, to be honest with you. Um, now that that's probably going to be a wild opinion, um, but that's just how I feel. Um, I don't think we really saw Holly Holm at her best in uh, the Ronda Rousey fight, so it should be interesting to see uh, how it'll go down in the Misha Tate fight. Um, but you know, uh, my whole entire opinion might be changed about her striking because I know she's a 19-time. Uh, <laughs> world boxing champion, um, you know, I'm not saying that her punches are lousy, I'm not saying anything like that, I'm just saying I've seen Misha Tate and Kat, uh, fight, uh, back in, uh, what was it, 20, 2013, I think it was that fight, uh, which Misha Tate lost, but, um, I, I saw that fight, and that fight was crazy, and I really did think, uh, during that fight that, uh, Cat was just lucky that she kept hitting Misha Tate with the knees, which uh, Misha Tate's uh, clinch game is not very great. 
So if Holly Hum can get her in a clinch, I think uh, Holly will be better that way. Her striking at a distance will definitely be better uh, than Misha's. I think overall, uh, Holly can run away from her. Um, but wrestling, definitely you would give it to, you know, Misha. Um, you know, and she's not going to be lousy in the clinch. It's I think it's going to be a little bit closer, but I think Holly will, will get a, a little bit. Just, just by a little bit. I think this fight will be closer than the Rowdy match. Um, now, I, I'm not for certain. That's just a hunch. Um, so, <laughs> that's how that fight will go down. It'll probably go at least uh, four rounds. I would think. I would think it would go four rounds. Because, uh, as they said in the interviews, you know, uh, you know, fighting style makes fights. You know, the style makes fights and... Um, you know, Misha Tate is a completely different fighter than uh, Ronda Rousey, and, you know, Misha was beaten by Ronda Rousey, and, you know, Holly Holm beat Ronda Rousey, so it looks like uh, Holly Holm is in a really good position as of right now, but uh, that can completely change at any point in time, so uh, we'll just have to see what happens. Um, so, obviously, the main event that everybody has been talking about, I've literally seen videos uploaded today, uh, I believe, uh, the guy's channel is, uh, I'll have to go and look real quick while I'm talking, uh, but he's posted quite a few videos today of, uh, everything that's going down, um, <clears throat> oh, MMA Quick Hits, uh, yeah, so he's been making videos all day today. Uh, I've got him, uh, you know, set up in notifications because I actually like what he's doing. He's also, uh, he's he's kind of doing, you know, a whole opinion channel and, you know, stating what he thinks and also bringing in a news side of it, which, you know, mine is going to be completely uh, opinionated. You know, I'm just going to say what I think. Um, but yeah, uh you know, I, I really do think that uh, in this main event, Conor McGregor and Rafael Dos Anjos, um, it, it should be pretty scary. I, actually, I'm really nervous. I've never been more nervous for a fight. Um, you know, I, I've been a fan of the UFC off and on for, uh, you know, around three years. And honestly, I've never talked about it on my channel, which, you know, eh, whatever. It's not really that big of a deal. But, uh, you know, I've been a big fan off and on. Um, but uh, since McGregor beat Dustin Poirier, I was super interested again. Uh, because we haven't seen a fighter like this since... Uh, fuck, I, I would say Muhammad Ali, to be honest with you, but that might be a broad stretch. Um, you know, uh, Muhammad Ali was about, you know, the po political and, you know, society standards, and he would obviously say, you know, hey, I'm gonna go kick this guy's ass, uh, but, you know, he was most notedly known for his, you know, personal stances on sensitive subjects, which, you know, Good for him. That's great. Uh, everybody loves Muhammad Ali. Nobody really has anything bad to say about him. Um, and if they do, they're completely invalid uh, opinions. Uh, regardless, though, uh, Conor McGregor versus Rafael Dos Anjos. Um, Conor has set an extremely high standard for himself over the past, uh, God, three years now. Around three years, he's set an extremely high standard for how he needs to fight, how he has fought, how he will fight, and what he will do, uh, and what he will say. Uh, the The media loves that guy. Uh, everybody in the uh, media center will be laughing while he's giving uh, interviews and nod nod. You know, he's a funny guy. He's also a really nice guy. He does it to sell the fights. He does it to make money for him and the person he's fighting. And then when he goes into the fights, he's completely unbiased. Completely unbiased. He's in the fight. He'll talk shit to you while you're in, you know, the ring. Because, you know, mental warfare is a big part of MMA and it will continue to be. Um, the progression really started with the Diaz brothers, obviously. You know, they're they're crazy about fucking with you, which it's hilarious. I love it. Um, 
Stockton motherfucker, but you know, despite all that, um, Rafael dos Anjos, um, you know, I, after listening to Conor McGregor talk about what he thinks will go down and how you know he thinks uh, the match will turn out uh, from his viewpoint and from his perspective of fighting Jose Aldo, which obviously Jose Aldo and Rafael dos Anjos are completely different size, completely different fighters. Uh, they have a completely different style completely opposite um you know what uh, uh, jose aldo obviously is more of a boxing but he can kick the shit out of you type guy um you know go look at him in favor in the wec uh fucked faber's legs up there's still the video on youtube showing uh faber walking around in crutches the next day um guy's got a fucking he he's got inhuman strength in his legs uh, probably because he was a soccer player, but anyway, uh, yeah, so, uh, truly, uh, you know, Conor McGregor said that Rafael Dos Anjos was, you know, Jose Aldo just more, uh, broad-shouldered and scrunched together and slower and poorer, which, honest to God, I don't really know, um, I don't think I've really ever seen a Rafael Dos Anjos fight except for the Cowboy Cerrone 1 and 2, uh, because I liked Cowboys, <laughs> but uh, he's seemed to stop giving a fuck about being in the sport of mixed martial arts, with, uh, which honestly, I would be too, considering how shitty the deal is now, you know, the Reebok deal and then, uh, you know, how they have favoritism between fighters who, you know, gets paid more than the other and blah, 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 blah. It's, it's kind of annoying, but, um, you know, Rafael, he's obviously extremely high class in the wrestling spectrum. He can bang with guys, but he's a little bit, uh, iffy in movement. Like he'll move his head, you know, left to right, and then he'll put his head right in the middle of the pocket because he's, you know, waiting for you to strike after he's thrown his one-two, and then he'll move his head out of the pocket. So, um, you know, whether or not he gets caught uh, by Conor McGregor is completely... Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I think he'll cover all bases, and I think Conor McGregor's going to cover all bases because he worked with... Uh, he's been working with uh, Gunnar Nelson for an extremely long time. Uh, Gunnar Nelson is extremely good at jujitsu, and we kind of saw, um, you know, how he did against a wrestler in Chad Mendez, uh, but, you know, two weeks, uh, Chad Mendez had to train and, you know, cut most of the weight that he had gained back from, you know, his last previous fight uh, before 189. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I think... Rafael Dos Anjos in the clinch could get fucked up, I think, because uh, Connor might have a four-inch reach advantage, I think it is. He might get fucked up uh, standing up, and he probably doesn't want to stand uh, directly in front of Connor. He might want to be on the outside. Uh, I don't think he'll want to be on the inside, uh, but clinch game, Connor has it. Uh, stand up, Connor has it. Um, Wrestling is completely different because we saw Connor, he had really good takedown defense and he's been working on balance. That's been his big thing uh, for, you know, a few months, which Condent did as well uh, before he came back and fought Lawler. Um, so, you know, it, it's completely, I, I, I have no idea. I'm literally the shoulders up and the hands up towards the sky guy right now because I have no fucking clue. I have no fucking clue who's going to win that fight, but if I had to put money on somebody, and I love Conor McGregor to death, but you know what, actually, I can't say that, I can't say that, because I truly don't know, I mean, I really don't, and I would make a definite prediction, but I don't want to eat my words, and honestly, if this tarnishes what Conor McGregor has going for him in the 145, uh, you know, in the featherweight division, I'm going to be a little bit pissed off. 
because uh, what he did in the featherweight division was absolutely incredible. It won't be done again. He cleaned out that division. He'll clean out that division whenever he goes uh, and fights Frankie Edgar after this fight, which should be fucking bananas. But, um, you know, uh, I would put my money on Connor because I like him more. Uh, I think, you know, Rafael, the matches that I've watched of his, he's a little bit iffy in the clinch whenever he's had to fight people who have been in the clinch with him. Uh, but, god damn, does he have some fucking one-punch power. I mean, that guy has a lot of power in his punches. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, um, you know, he pulled something out of his hat, but I don't think he'll beat Conor McGregor from, uh, you know, a stand-up point. Um, I think he'll have to throw him on the ground and really get on top of him, and then his ground and pound will be a little bit crazy, but we've seen Conor McGregor get blasted with elbows. Blasted with elbows by Chad Mendez, and it didn't seem to really do anything. Guy's got an iron chin and a left hook like Jesus. So, uh, I don't know. I really don't know. I like the Conor McGregor train to keep going because I want to see where it goes. Uh, I, I honestly don't think he would go up to, uh, <laughs> you know, fight Robbie Lawler. Um, because, you know, uh, that seems ridiculous. Uh, I think he would be striving for a little bit too much. He would be a lot slower. Uh, it, it would just be weird. Uh, but, you know, uh, I'd like to see the McGregor train keep going, but I would not be surprised if uh, he lost this fight, the momentum would slow down on the hype train. Obviously, it wouldn't be as good, and then people would look down on him in 145, because if he couldn't beat somebody at his preferred weight class, then how can he beat somebody down in 145, which is completely ridiculous, but we will hear that opinion if he does lose to Rafael Dos Anjos. So, um, you know, whether Rafael Dos Anjos wins or whether he loses, I have no fucking clue. But I, I don't think, uh, you know, ah, it's so, it's so hard to say what Conor McGregor might do next. Even after he does clean out, uh, you know, if he cleans out the featherweight division, would he drop the featherweight belt and then go up to 155 and try to clean out that division as the champion? It's completely questionable. Would he leave and then go do something else? Uh, completely questionable. It's completely uh, up to everybody's imagination because that's what Conor McGregor has been doing for everybody. He's been um, better than imagination could be. He makes you think on a level that you didn't think was possible, and I think that's what he's been going for this whole time is just being spectacular. But, uh, you know, somebody will figure out his game someday. Uh, obviously, this train won't go forever. He won't go undefeated. Hardly anybody ever does in MMA, uh, if, if ever, at all, uh, go undefeated. Um, so, you know, we all thought the Rousey train would keep going forever, and then, thankfully, Conor McGregor was already on his run, so he was the saving grace, so everyone turned their eyes to that. But, um, you know, all good things must come to an end. I don't want it to end here, but if it did, I wouldn't be surprised. And I wouldn't be surprised if he won. So it's it's just a double-edged sword. That's really what the... Fuck the main event. Don't call it the main event. Call it the double-edged sword fight. Because holy shit. Both of them are going to get stabbed. No matter what the fuck happens, somebody's going to get stabbed. The sword's too sharp. Uh, someone's going to get fucked. I don't know who it is. Whoever pushes the sword first stabs it through the heart. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. But I will tell you this, it will be probably one of the more tough matches that Conor McGregor has ever had in his career. And it undoubtedly will probably be uh, Rafael Dos Anjos' uh, most difficult fight of his career. Um, which, you know, that division looks incredible right now. Um, as well as, uh, you know... All the divisions look really good right now, to be honest with you. It's been an amazing, amazing 2015. All the fights in 2015 were absolutely fucking incredible. All the matches in 2016 have been absolutely fucking incredible. I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't know what's going to happen. 
Uh, but, oh god, I really do hope that Connor wins. And it's not for a personal reason, it's just I don't want to see the train stop. See you guys later.